of the original Dark Souls, but... But you know, like, a game that I actually enjoy more than the Soul series is the, uh, Monster Hunter. It's another example of core controls. Really, like, convoluted... super complicated stats you don't understand, like, gameplay. No health bar on the monster, you just have to watch him, watch the monster and say, okay, well, he's limping, he must be... Have you ever tried a MOBA before? Yeah, I played the original. I played the original Dota. Never really liked it, because for me, a strategy game is about building Unless you're playing Mist. Oh, not Mist, but Myth or uh, Majesty. Which I promised that I would stream one day, and I never did. Um, Majesty, that is. So I never really was a fan of, uh, like, Dota. But I've played Dota 2, which was... It was alright, I had fun. And League of Legends. Had slightly less fun, but it was still good. Like, it was same level. I have a lot more fun with... I'm getting drowned out. Is the game getting louder and louder? <laughs> there we go. Um, what was I saying? Music is loud. Um, it's especially loud when you're fighting stuff. All right. What was I saying? I was talking about. Yeah, the, the systems in Monster Hunters are really intimidating. And they don't really explain what they do, either, so it's like... Even worse. Don't tr start with a bow. That's all I can say. Any ranged weapon, don't start with... They made that as like a... Of course they don't explain it, but they're like expert weapons. You actually gain... Just by drawing your bow out, the monster will be more inclined to attack you more than anyone. Oh yeah, I was exp explaining my experiences with Mobas. Thank you. Um, Heroes of the Storm is actually the one that I prefer the most. It helps that I'm a huge Blizzard fan, so like all the characters I know of, uh, and it plays. If it's a game like that supposed to promote team play, then I'd rather play as a team, so the mechanics or the systems in Heroes of the Storm are more uh, tuned for that. So you don't level on your own, you level as a team, that kind of stuff. There's no gold. I hate shopping in a MOBA. And I'm not talking about buying characters, I'm talking about just like upgrading weapons. I completely despise that concept. And I had a, I guess, a debate with a, a colleague of mine, and he's like, no, 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 there's a strategy problem. I, like, I don't care. I'm supposed to fight stuff. Let me go into action. So, yeah, I, Heroes of the Storm for me is the... Um, I haven't tried Smite. Um, there's tons more too. So it's like I played a few of them on the iOS because they also exist. Man, energy comes at the cost of wisdom. Comes up often a lot. Um, 
But yeah, I'm not a, a huge fan of the, the bite-sized games like that. So I tend to play that. Whoa! Oh, it's Czar! <laughs> okay, hang on. Somebody's got another streamer I watch. There's also a stream. What the hell? I don't care about Steam. There you go. Did that screw up the stream? It did not. <laughs> I was like, that's only three? Yeah, that's funny. Um, let's see, I was a huge fan of Blizzard Face says that in other MOBAs, a lot of the time he feels like you're fighting your team as much as the opponent, and that's not the case for Heroes of Storm. That's basically... Well, it's not so much that you're fighting against your own team. You are competing slightly, but the problem is that you're always going to play with people that spent more time playing the game that you're always going to get criticized. Like, oh, it's like um, that one time I played uh, Counter-Strike um, this year in a LAN party and stuff like that, and I was ridiculed. And I wasn't only playing with the people uh, that I was, like, friends with, but even online. And uh, people was like, oh, man, this Gix guy, Gix guy is terrible. Like, he... He, I, I failed the team because I spawned with the bomb and I'm supposed to plant the bomb, but I didn't know how to plant the bomb. So, and you have like three to five seconds to plant it. So it's like, I got a bomb in my hand, I have to put it down. And immediately the team failed and I was criticized for it. Like, whoa, what the, this Gix guy doesn't know what he's doing. I was like, well, sorry, like, what do you want me to do? Let me... Give me time to learn the game, and then I'll be able to participate. Just don't, like, criticize me up the get-go. And I hate that in, uh, in MOBAs, mostly. Uh, yeah, let's talk with Czar. What? Why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one insane. <laughs> here, take this and leave me to my work. Trouble me no more. I suppose you should play with friends first. Well, technically, you're supposed to do the tutorial first. But when you're like, hey, let's play together and play some Team Fortress, or um, let's play some MOBA, or let's, let's play some Counter-Strike, you're like, okay, that's cool, let's join. And I haven't played Counter-Strike in freaking ever. So, like, some people are just way too hardcore, and apparently my existence at that point is a nuisance to them. And I don't want to play with them. And unfortunately, we can't just, like... Bad memories of teams. And it was the same thing with the World of Warcraft way back when they had an honor system in the PvP. Back when I was a legionnaire. Um, in PvP ranking. So it's like... You were competing with members of your own faction to kill people of the opposite, opposing faction. And whoever had the best score had a higher rank of your own faction. And when you're like a raid of 40 plus people raiding a town, like an actual world town, a questing hub, and you had civilians, like low level players, uh, shop in pieces and stuff like that that were considered uh, as civilians. Um, one guy in the raid, if he attacked the civilians, it would give dishonor to the entire raid. So basically, you're putting everyone against that guy because he's the idiot that target the... I mean, it never happened to me, but... Uh, because I'm a warlock at the time and you couldn't kill anything. <laughs> but... Um, that's not true. Uh, I used to kill a lot of stuff, but NPCs, I was very um, paranoid of the system because I didn't want to get dishonor. And when it's a hard thing to grind for, too. So, yeah. 
can only learn from so much from bots, though. You really learn how heroes should function, but never the meta. Yeah, so it's like you gotta you gotta re dive right in, and it's one of the things that I like about Hero of the Storm is just dive right in. You die a couple of times on your, your first hero, and after a while, you, you get it. You can play with AI. You can play. I like to play with the randos, like random people, and uh, deal with them. So I interrupted this guy. He gave me a book to leave me alone, but I'm actually gonna fight him. What? Why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one in. Oh yeah, I just have to click on his book shelf. Uh, your curiosity will be the death of you. There. <laughs> 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 yeah. This teleportation is a little annoying, but... Oh no you don't. Come back here. Wall attacks much. What, my wall, my guy's not aligned? that wall. <sighs> Would you stop? Big room. Sure, stay here. so annoying. Then again, the last two times I played I was a sorcerer. Okay, going back. Okay, so there was this one night where we raided all the Horde cities in WoW, you alliance bastard. Uh, it was after... Uh, Wrath of the Lich King patch when guards were adjusted for level 80 players. It took forever to kill bosses. We were over 200 people. Wow, that's a lot. I wanted to like World War II so you, my stories like that. But to me, it was always being killing 10 bugs in this thing. Yeah, it's, uh, you gotta make it that game that you want to experience. A lot of games are like that. Um, for the longest time for me, the game was almost like a Diablo. Uh, 
uh, clone. I mean, there's no random or anything like that, but it was just dungeon crawling and it didn't care about the story or anything like that. It just wanted to kill stuff, and if it happened to be a player, so be it. If it happened to be like a, a, a cat or a monster or something like that, I just wanted to kill it. Or I, I wanted to interact with monsters or different kind of beasts, so to me that was more important. Of course, over time, like I kind of wanted to have a little bit more of that. Whoa, but what can I do for you? Um, even games like Ultima Online had a lot of story like that, and when you look at it, like from a base mechanical structure, it's there's nothing in this game. It's just you have trees and you can cut wood and fish and ride horses and stuff like that and this whole story is about dungeon crawling with guilds and PvP and all that stuff. It all happens um, through interaction with other people. So it's like... Good thing my mace is freaking fast. Come here. Back off. How is that game going? What game? Ultima Online? What game's still kicking even though it's regardless of its age? Stone curse, you're so right. I don't have mana though. Oh man. I didn't think about stone curse, but yeah, I should totally do that next time I go to town. Um Shroud of the Avatar. That game you know what? I wanted to stream more of it. And I probably should do that when my character is strong enough to do combat. I know in a couple of weeks if they're going to reset the servers because they're going to be a huge patch. It's still in alpha. They're, uh, they change a lot of the mechanics. So we might actually do after Diablo, before playing some Dark Souls, we might... I might do a showcase of uh, Shroud. Just do like for academic academic purposes, and let's like kill a few wolves and do this and that. Explore the areas. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's it's shaping along. I, I'm uh, like they're doing a lot of content ads, but it's like like they they added a dragon. They're testing how to do like big monsters. Okay, okay, hang on. Uh, town portal. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a potion, a mana potion. I'm just gonna get him in a corner. He won't be able to move. He teleports. Is what this is Vanilla it, Diablo friend? or... Yeah, yeah, it's Vanilla. It's always Vanilla. <laughs> That's a good point. Running out of mana, uh, money again. I can't carry any more. Use a bow. 